Welcome to Sunday Crafternoon. My name is Megan. I'm here from the Saskatoon Public Library. I am in my apartment located on land that's part of Treaty 6 territory and in Saskatoon. I have a craft set up over there that we're going to work on and it's hollowed out books. So books where you can hide, you know, secret treasures or notes or um, money. I don't know, it's up to you. I'm going to switch my camera so that you can see from above while I'm working. All right, so I've gotten together all the things I'm going to need to make my hollowed out books. I've got ruler, exacto blade, and a, a bigger exacto knife, scissors, paintbrush and white glue, pencil, some clips for clipping pages out of the way, and tape for doing any kind of book binding repairs. This is paper tape. I got it at the post office. It is very handy for crafting purposes. I have my books. I have a number of books that I'm going to be repurposing. And I'm very lucky, I work at the library. So every time a book gets too worn out to circulate around in the library anymore, we take them out and we replace them with a new copy. But then the old copy, we can either, you can either purchase through Friends of the Library or I take them home and I make them into book crafts. This one's very good. If you haven't read Holes by Lewis Satcher, you can go get the new copy from the library. But this one is got the binding a little broken here. So I'm gonna fix that up. And then, I don't know, maybe hollow it out. I've already started on this one. Here it is, I've started cutting out the pages. The part of this craft that's going to take the longest and need the most patience is this part, cutting all of the pages. Because you have to do them a few pages at a time. And you'll need a lot of patience to just keep cutting. And then clipping them out of the way. And then cutting out a few more. And I recommend you measure out and mark frequently every couple of sections so that it stays nice and even along your edges. And because it takes so long, I'm going to go very, very fast in this video. So I'll be right back. took me about two hours <laughs> and now I have a really nice callus right here <laughs> where I was holding the exacto blade but I've got a nice deep hollow in the book almost all the way to the back and my next step I'm gonna clip these front few pages out of the way and press it all down so that the edge is really firm. And while I'm doing that, get out my white glue. I have Mod Podge, which is a little bit fancier. If you're gonna be a crafter, you should invest in some Mod Podge because it comes in handy a lot. 
but you can use uh, white glue and water and it will have the same sort of, um, it'll do the same thing. And I'm just gonna, I'm going to paint along the edge. And it'll dry clear, so don't have to worry too much about making a mess. If you get it around the edges too, it'll seal it off quite well. And once I do all the way around, I'm going to put it under two very heavy books that I own. Ugh. And then it'll dry like that. And once it's dry, I'll show you, because I've already finished one, it looks, it'll work like this. It's all sealed. And I've painted the inside of this one, the hollow. There's a few more pages at the beginning. Very sneaky. And then the little compartment. This one's not as deep, so I'll probably just put little notes inside of it and then um, I can pass notes back and forth with someone. Okay, have fun. And uh, I hope you have a sneaky place to hide all your treasures.